Hello and welcome to the PC Security Channel. Today we'll be checking out Norton Security, a subscription-based product now, with a bunch of fancy words like Deluxe and so on. The user interface is fairly good, we have it on default settings. Let's check for updates and then we can get started with the test. Good to go. We'll start with phase one as usual. You were enjoying a nice speeded up clip, but that actually took forever, 20 minutes to be precise. Norton was hammering the CPU, but overall it seems to have done a good job at preventing malware from destroying the system. We have a proactive detection of 96.5% and a removal rate of 58%. Hitman Pro doesn't seem to detect anything, so we have a clean sheet in phase 1, let's proceed to phase 2.
That took a while again, but the good news is it looks like our system is relatively alright, apart from a few PUPs, and we have a proactive detection of 98.8%, which is quite impressive, especially in phase 2, but the malware removal rate is only 22%. Norton has always been horrible when it comes to doing a clean job and removing threats. A lot of the time it asks you to get external help to remove simple files on your desktop. I have no idea how that works. The second opinion scan results are in, so let's take a look at it. Malwarebytes did not find anything other than a registry key. Hitman Pro, on the other hand, found a couple of setups that it claims are malware, but as you can see it's... Uh, part of the Elements browser, so it's more adware than malware. I know what you're thinking, look at this mess, Leo, how can you say that this is a good result? But that's why you're not a malware analyst. You see, it only takes one PUP to make a mess like this, so it actually looks a lot worse than it is. To be honest, Norton did a great job. I usually don't like the product, but credit where it is due. The proactive detection was great on this test, protected the system very well. The removal on the other hand is a complete mess. It doesn't seem to be very good when it comes to dealing with the files that it does find. I guess it's just the engine implementation, it's a little bit convoluted, but that may not be a deal breaker for the end user. So look out for Norton security folks. It's probably one of the best results Norton has had on this channel. It will be on the website if you've missed the last video. Check out the link in the description. Please like and share if you enjoy my content. Consider supporting me on Patreon. Thank you for watching and as always, stay informed, stay secure.